much, yeah. <laughs> it was very nice to see you all. Nice to see you Yes. Too. Yeah. And uh, it, it was sort of, it's sort of Geordie land in a sort of Hollywood lady sandwich. It's yeah. nice, yes. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. A Geordie now, filling. Julianne, last time you were here, yeah. uh, we teased you because you had lost so many Oscars. Yeah. Uh, but now, yeah. loser no more. <laughs> no, well, because she'd lost loads lost, of them. I lost, yeah. 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 Four of them. Four of them. <gasps> lost four. Yeah. That's careless. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now, yeah. now, big winner. Yeah. Big winner for Silas. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Was it kind of everything you'd hope on the night? Was it, or was it an anticlimax after waiting all that time? It was, no, it was great. It was great. It was very exciting. I tried to stay calm and present, but you know, it's three hours long, <laughs> and I was the very last award before best film. So I, I was, you know, it was, it was agonizing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to say, I do know all about losing. <laughs> and Dick. <laughs> <laughs> many national television awards have you won now? Um, 15 <gasps> for best in a row. Wow. in a row. Yes. Uh, no, it's pretty good. Yeah, in a row to relevant. 15. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, it's brilliant. It's brilliant. But look, I'm not, my heart doesn't bleed for you. I mean, you've, you've won a few awards yourself over no, there. No, you've you... got a BAFTA in your opening titles. Yeah, no, it, but, yeah, we were just throwing you into a pond. Uh, <laughs> you, no, but you, you've won Lifetime Achievement, is it twice now? <laughs> Is yeah. that for both well, lives? Right. Is that how that works? Well, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I don't know what it's called. We won something, and it was some sort of outstanding contribution or something. And then we won it again, I think, a couple of years ago. So I don't quite understand how that works. Nor do I. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> uh, no, have, you ever had to do, have you ever had to do loser face? You've never oh, yeah, to, we've had we to, have yeah. over the years, yeah. 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 Rebel, do you have a loser face? Ah. <laughs> uh, well, I haven't been nominated yet for an Oscar, because they're racists. <laughs> <laughs> so I haven't... <laughs> um, but... <laughs> I guess, like, if I went to the Oscars and then I lost, I'd just be like... Just, like, show a tit or something. <laughs> at least I'd get a lot of attention and wouldn't feel like the night was a total waste. <laughs> Rather than just doing the, you know, the classic, like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just um, get a tit out. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Nominated next year. Yeah. yeah. No, no. <laughs> just a pick of nip. Just do the shirt. Just a little <laughs> nip. But now, but Rebel, you do go to award show. Was the was it an award show where you were sat next to Kelly Osbourne misbehaving? Oh, uh, that was um, Jennifer Lopez's opening night in Las Vegas. A couple. You weeks get ago. about, don't you? Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, I still haven't found love, so I try to get out there. Beautiful <laughs> <laughs> to her. No, okay. I bet it was. But but wasn't it that she thought you were going to be Miss See, Method and Serious? Yeah, yeah, she thought I was really methody. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Are you really not? Yeah, no, I'm just pretending. Nothing real happens. So do, me do real methody people then yeah. get annoyed with you because Sometimes they do because of how much I talk. Because I like to talk between takes about what I had for lunch and what I'm gonna do this weekend and, and these shoes that I bought and do you like the shoes that I bought? Should I take the shoes back? Or what do you think? Or do you wanna have lunch? Or should we have lunch later? Or do you want a snack? <laughs> All the way up to action. Uh -huh. yeah. And every once in a while someone will say, like, please be quiet. <laughs> for one minute. And don't you yeah. sing a lot? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I do. It does sound quite annoying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is, it is. <laughs> What yeah. sort of songs do you sing? Like peanut butter jelly tam, peanut butter jelly tam. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the weird thing at home that your kids don't believe you when you laugh? Oh, my daughter says I have a fake laugh. I think I'm just trying to be, you know, when your kids say something, you're like, oh, honey, yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If I was a kid, I'd be going, no, this isn't yeah, working. That's yeah. fake. <laughs> honey, that's, that's completely fake, Mom. So I'm like, no, I laugh like that. <laughs> <laughs> now, and forgive me, because, of course, Ant and Dec, we forget, you are actors. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we start with start as actors. Yeah, yeah, no, you did. Yeah. Uh, Biker Grove. I'm not sure if Rebel or Julianne are familiar with Biker Grove. <laughs> no? Sounds very dramatic. It was. <laughs> <laughs> very hard yeah. the storylines in, in Biker Grove. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought this? you were a girl in that one. <laughs> It was leaves, yeah. <laughs> this is a very rare picture because this is deck and ash. Oh, yeah, yeah the wrong yeah, way yeah. round. You're the wrong way round. Yeah. Oh, are you always in the same position? We yeah. try so people uh, can remember which one's which, but it really fails. Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work. That's deck and ant, uh -huh. or Duncan and PJ. You're PJ and Duncan. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. That's what now, we're doing. Now, in the show, which one of you went blind? 
Me, my character PJ went blind. Okay. Shot in the eyes. <laughs> Shot in the eyes. Shot in the eyes. The pitbull. The yeah, pitbull. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was a freak paintball in accident <laughs> where PG was in the middle of a love triangle and okay. the two girls he was kind of uh, messing around with yeah. um, shot at the same time and both paintballs hit oh, him in the eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll teach him. Yeah. 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 But hey, there's no shame in soap opera acting because Julianne Moore, Oscar winner, I think I mentioned it earlier. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you, yeah, it was your first job. Yeah, was... As the World Turns, he was called. Mm -hmm. How many years? <laughs> and Rebel, lots of Australians who make it yeah. big in Hollywood have come mm. through. The Australian soaps. Yeah, the soaps like Home and Away, Neighbours. Uh, not me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't you audition first. for them or anything? I didn't even get a chance to audition. My very first um, agent meeting, I got rejected because they like looked me up and down and said, yeah, you're not ever going to be on Home and Away, <laughs> so we're not going to take you. Um, Is that the only job in Australia? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But now, you tweeted this picture recently of yourself when you were starting out. Is this like a, a headshot you would oh, use for auditions? This is my first acting headshot. Um, now, okay. there, there are a lot of questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, <laughs> why am I holding a softball mitt yeah. and a softball, just in case you didn't get yeah. that I was sporty? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. yeah. You can play athletes, is that what you were saying? Yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then I'm wearing like the world's finest gold chain. Uh, and then. Because like, you're feminine as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, and an oversized t shirt. I've just let my hair go feral, you know. Um, obviously, had not met up with a professional stylist at that point in my career. Um, and then I just like, like the random graffiti, because I did yeah. come from like kind of the ghetto area of Sydney. <laughs> So, most people just have, like, a plain background. But you! Like, yeah. Graffiti? Yeah, yeah. She's, she's urban. A, yeah, she's a rebel, like, yeah. 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 But no wonder nobody thought I would be a professional actress. <laughs> <laughs> that that <laughs> headshot. Like, you, you, can't, you can't stage something better. No. <laughs> you look like you were in a great mood and then you saw something truly <laughs> awful. <laughs> Uh, now, Anton Deck, when you decided to kind of move away from PJ and Duncan and become Anton Deck, rebrand yourselves mm. as Anton Deck, mm -hmm. you went through a sort of makeover, didn't you? A kind of extreme makeover. Yeah, well, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah, we did. It, well, it wasn't our idea, but we, yeah, we wanted to ditch the names PJ and Duncan and become Anton Deck, our real names. Yeah. Um, so I think it was Smash Hits magazine. So you should do like a, an image makeover. Why don't you do that? So take that a dumb one. It'll work really well. With yeah. Them. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, let's yeah. do that. Yeah. Take that, I've done it. So, I said, I'll shave my head. I'm like, all right, okay. I was like, oh, well, I don't really want to do that. I look silly like that. So, I, I'll dye my hair. So, the idea was to dye my hair blonder, but it just went ginger. <laughs> um, Nothing wrong with that, of saying. course. No, no. <laughs> What I mean was, it wasn't quite the look we were going for. Right. No, this, um, uh, this is the cover oh, of, of Smash It's there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not. It's vibrant yellow. Now, what I would say is, though, so that happened, and you obviously saw that in vibrant colour on yes. a newsstand. You then did a shoot for the gay magazine Attitude. Yes. yes. And you thought, we can tone this down and sex it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's, 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 under, it's what, they, what they say down the bottom there. That they... Oh, yeah. Ante deck. Cox of the North. <laughs> You just put soil in your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give potting clay in my hair. That's pretty much what I did. And then there is a brilliant picture inside. This oh, is God. brilliant. No, don't oh. worry, Ant, you're safe. Oh, oh, no, no, no. This is this is Deck. And they I, I don't know what the instruction was, what the photographer said to Deck, but he must have said, Oh, yeah. you're in a gay magazine. <laughs> Do something that will really appeal to the gay readership. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. You're sticking your hand down your pants. Yeah. Yeah, you don't mean you're just itching your hole. You're just like, the boys are going to love this. Don't worry, the boys are going to knit you off. Oh, God. Oh.
Oh dear. <laughs> different times. Oh, different yes. different times. <laughs> is that your <laughs> copy, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. I've had it, I've had it since. <laughs> to be fair, there's, there's, there's a lot of stuff out there. If you dig deep enough, there's a lot of, a lot of bad photos of us. Oh. Over hey, but no, listen, at deck, back where they belong, Saturday nights. Uh, Takeaway is back on ITV on the 20th of February. And when people come on and say, oh, yeah, it's back, it's bigger and better, but it really is. Like, you've mm. got this an extraordinary live finale. Yes. Uh, yes. From, yeah. a, from a cruise ship. Oh, um, wow. where, yeah. where will it be? I know. Wow. We're, we're, in we're in Barcelona. Uh, we're so in Barcelona. cruise around the Med. So every year we give tickets away, uh, and normally the, the winners fly off live on the final show of the series. Uh, but this year we're doing the entire... We're giving tickets away to a cruise around the Mediterranean, and we're doing the entire show live from a cruise ship, wow. and it's harboured in Barcelona. Hopefully there's not an E. coli outbreak. <laughs> <laughs> Needs to be. Normal virus <laughs> to bring us down. It would be um, an explosive show. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, that's one of the things. We're not quite sure how it's going to go. No. I mean, that's the idea. We and also, know. the link could drop out, then you don't have to do it. Yeah, yeah. well, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cut a wire. Yeah. <laughs> 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 not, not my yeah, fault. Yeah. You were there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got no idea. It's quite, it's quite exciting. It's quite scary, but that, that's good, I think. But you've got lots of the same things coming back. You know, yes, lots of the great, got, um, all the, the favourites, the yeah. Latin Deck are back. The Latin Deck, Deck, Undercover are back. Um, and also we've got a new item called uh, Who Shot Simon Cowell? And it's a, <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a weekly drama. It's like a we weekly four-minute drama with cliffhangers. Um, because you forget we're actually actors. We of see. course. <laughs> yeah. um, and it was, it was devised by Chris Chibnall, who wrote Broadchurch. Wow. Um, so we've got really good... <laughs> <laughs> we asked him on the off chance, he went, yeah, we went, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, i tell you what, save you explaining any more, we've uh, got a clip. Oh, right, okay. This is the beginning of the ongoing drama of Who Shot Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> I think the birthday boy's about to arrive. Come on, everybody. Is so obvious. Second song. What? Anyone? Someone shot Simon Cow. We know, dear. We all saw it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's> good. <laughs> I love that Christopher Biggins has found a suit the same colour as his skin. <laughs> <laughs> it's that can't have been easy. You know, in the shop, going, is it? <laughs> and why is the other girl exposing her bush? <laughs> that's, that, that's Sunita. It's a long story. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, you, I was going to say, you're trying to explain Sunita. <laughs> it's it's very, very hard. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, there's lots of people who have a motive to shoot Simon Cowell. Let's, let's be yes. honest. Or, uh, yeah, that's it's over over the course of the series. And I uh, must mention Wednesday the twenty fourth, back hosting the Brits uh, yes. for the third time. Yes. Where? <laughs> now uh, last year, big success. But but it makes well. me have the well the the thing that everyone remembers about last year's Brits. <laughs> yeah. You missed. We, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, we kind of missed we it. We did. Yeah, Madonna. Yeah. Madonna fallen. Did you see this back in the stage? Um, she was wearing a cape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they pulled the cape and, and it was tied too tight and it pulled her off the stage. It so was we, amazing. We done it. <laughs> <laughs> No, I was in the audience. It was 20,000 people going, oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> We'd done our last link. Our last thing was to link into Madonna. We'd hit, you know, we'd landed the plane. That was it. We were, we were out of there. And you know what so, it's like? As soon as you go, right, are you coming back to You're not coming back to me? Great. Earpiece out. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic. Microphone off. Flash of like champagne. That. Yeah. Champagne, we clinked. We went, well, that went well. That, yeah. went, that went smoothly. <laughs> we did. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was just this gasp in the room, and we yeah. turned around, and she was on her back. Oh, God. <laughs> If it was part of the routine, we weren't sure. It was a bit of a, I had to get champagne in my hand. Yeah. I wasn't too bothered, if I'm honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> I went back to the dressing room, watched the news at 10, yeah. and she'd fallen. That was the first, <laughs> the first we kind of knew about it. It was the news headline, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, we got yeah. back to the room just in time for the news to start. I was like, Madonna has fallen at the Brits. Oh, is that what oh, happened? Oh, that's what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> Reverend Wilson, of course, you have hosted. You hosted the MTV... Yeah, I, yeah, I tried to host. Uh... <laughs> I'll say that on the show and appear clever. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and, and Deck, obviously, uh, both married now. Yeah. You just got married last year, wasn't it? Last year, yeah, August. Congrats, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. And now, Ant, yep. you are married, but I do think 
How the hell does your wife put up with you? I, th I think uh, <laughs> yeah. you're like, and happily married. Why? <laughs> <laughs> no, so tell them, tell them you know the story. This is so mean. This is such a mean prank. Yeah, we were, we were a lot younger there. So, yeah, I've been with my <laughs> wife. We've been married 10 years this year, but we've been together about 20 years. Uh, when we first started getting together, um, we shared a flat in, in London, in Fulham. And I thought it'd be hilarious one night. Uh, we'd been out for a drink or something. She was in the flat on her own, and I said, wouldn't it be funny if you pretend to be me and get in the bed with her and, d and see what the reaction is? That's like what happened on my soap opera. Yes. I think yes. 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 It is true. I yeah. was like, well, I'm game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sounds funny to me. <laughs> <laughs> How long are you going to be? <laughs> uh, no, it wasn't. And so he's like, what, what, what would you normally say? And I would like to... So, I say, how are you paired off? Uh, how are you doing? You practice it with a deep voice. Do you? Go, I say, a bit deeper than that. He says, I'm quite clumsy around the bedroom, so just make sure you bang into some things. Then she'll think of it. And then when, when he got into bed, I'd leave it a, a minute or two. Then I'll, they'll put the light on and go, what the bloody hell's going on here? <laughs> um, absolutely hated the guy. You didn't buy the money at all. Uh, it still hasn't forgiven us. Yeah. So, yeah, I do, I do wonder how she puts up. There's a few of them, actually. I just love the few. fact that you thought that was going to be funny in any way. <laughs> I put a wig in the bed once and then pillars and pretended it was me and jumped out of the window, went along the balcony and then watched her go to bed, get put a nightie on, get on the bed, go like, go to cuddle me, go, oh my! <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was better, yeah, yeah. I've, I've learned, I've learned, I've learned now. I don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, have, you got, have you got big Valentine weekend plans? Um, we're working on Valentine's Day. Uh, we're Andy? Doing... <laughs> <laughs> Worryingly, my wife is actually our manager, so she controls the diary. So she obviously doesn't want to go out with me on Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> She's put me to work. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Julianne, what are you doing? The BAFTAs. The BAFTAs are always on Valentine's Day. Oh. Are they always? <laughs> Just before we go, we do have time for a visitor to, to the big red chair. So let's see you there. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. I, I, I... <laughs> Not in the mood. <laughs> oh, no. That could be the best story in the world. There was something, it was all put together in the way she spoke, and I thought this <laughs> might be a real person. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, if, if anyone's willing, uh, we'll, we'll have one more. One more. Hello. Hello. Hi, what's your name? Amy. Amy, lovely. And uh, what do you do, Amy? Uh, I work in pharmaceuticals. <laughs> it does make you laugh that you've blended into that chair. I know. <laughs> you're, just, well done. you're just like a necklace and a hair. <laughs> Is that, it's the opposite of Chris Biggins. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, all right, Amy, off you go with this story. OK, so it was just before Christmas. Uh, my boyfriend and I went to Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. And when we were in Amsterdam, he said to me that he had heard his friend say there was this really good bar um, where you could go and um, a girl would write you a postcard using her downstairs area. So he thought this should be really fun. <laughs> and I thought... <laughs> Just before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring in all your cards. <laughs> <laughs> Take some time. <laughs> so, so I thought, why not? So we went to this bar and we walked in the door and we had to pay to get in, obviously. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, they didn't take Amex, which was his credit card. So I had to uh, fork out 100 euros to get into this place. So we go upstairs, we, we meet all these lovely ladies, and it uh, turns out we have to give them even more money. Um, oh. And then it, oh, it transpires <laughs> that we can't just get the postcard, we have to buy a package of uh, products. Um, so I didn't sign up for this, um, but Steve was like, I really, really want this postcard. So I was like, OK, we'll do that. <laughs> so, so OK, just, I need to know this right now. Yeah, yeah. Are you still with this man? Yeah. yeah. OK. <laughs> Anyway, so we pay her some more money, and then what happens is I just think Steve's going to do all this stuff. But then the woman's like, no, you have to do it as well. So I what? ended up... Wait, she had to write... No, 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 I didn't write the postcard. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> uh, if you can do that, you can I'm walk. <laughs> Here's a pen, anybody, have a go. Anybody got a sharpie? <laughs> <laughs> no, I definitely didn't do that. Okay, so what? So Amy, so they, you have to do something, yes? Yeah. So I, she made me massage her boobs and oh. her bum, and oh. ah. yeah, it's pretty traumatic for me. So have you got the address of this place? <laughs> <laughs> I think she's got it written down somewhere. <laughs> Then 
you've had to do the same, thankfully. Um, but uh, yeah, we did get our postcard, and it's now on our fridge at home. So there's our story. Wow. Uh, well, I think she deserves to walk. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. Walk. Walk, Amy. Go on. Walk. If you'd like to join us on the show and have a go at Big Red Day, you can contact us via our website at this address. And that is it for tonight. Please say a huge thank you to my guests, Little Mix, <laughs> Rebel Wilson, <laughs> and the Death, <laughs> and Julianne Moore. <laughs> we are taking a short break, but we'll be back later in March. Meanwhile, do join me next week for a special look back at some of the highlights from this series. I'll see you then. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>Next, would I lie to you? The comedy continues here on BBC One Wales. And at 20 to midnight, American Dad continues over on BBC Three.